Om yogis, welcome to Yoga with Neptune. Um, come into a comfortable seat. And then let's just start to do some ocean breathing or ujjayi breathing, closing off the back of the throat. So your breath becomes audible. The inhale runs into the exhale, and the exhale runs into the inhale. Neptune rules the oceans and breaks down distracting thought patterns or negative thought patterns. By tuning into the breath, we're breaking down the tendency to get distracted and pulled away by the mind. As we tune into the ocean of breath, we tune into the deep self, we tune into ourselves as we are in this moment. We tune into the impulse of Neptune Lovely. When you're ready, just start to add your arms to this. So as you inhale, the arms come up over the head. And as you exhale, arms come down to the sides. When I think of Neptune, I think of the of Shiva's trident, actually. Shiva is the destroyer. And Neptune does a similar thing. Neptune breaks things down, heralds new beginnings. So as you breathe and you move your arms, just sweep away anything from your field that doesn't serve you. gorgeous and when you're ready come into cat cow and stay with that ocean breathing the inhale runs into the exhale the exhale runs into the inhale and the breath is initiating the movement Lovely, come back to center, onto all fours, and let's just extend the opposite arm and the opposite leg. And then bring the knee to the elbow and re-extend. Moving to the rhythm of your breath. And then swapping that over, so it's the other arm and the other leg, extend out, and then elbow to knee. Breathing in as the, the hand stretches out and the foot stretches out, and breathing out as you contract. Beautiful, coming back to all fours. And let's just weave your left arm under your right. Thread the needle here. Staying with that ocean breathing, ujjayi breath. 
The inhale runs into the exhale and the exhale runs into the inhale. As we tune into the breath, we break down the tendency of being wrapped up in the mind. We become wrapped up in the breath. Gorgeous, then come back to center. Thread the needle the other way. Breathing here. Lovely, then come back to center, you guys. Okay, now we're going to bring your knee in towards your forehead here. And then kick your back leg out behind you. Just extend it to begin with so you can get a feel for how it feels. Back and up with the leg as you open up the chest. Then contract the knee back to the forehead. And as you inhale, open it up. Now you can take this into um, more of a pumping action here. The knee comes to the forehead as you exhale and you open up, inhale. You can go as slowly or as quickly as you like. We're kicking out all those unhelpful thought patterns. And you can take this to the degree that you're actually doing a, um, a couple of Bharti type breath. Breath of fire. As you kick here, if you're feeling energetic today, if not, you can stay with that wave, ocean, Ujjayi breath. Beautiful, now swap the legs when you're ready and do the same thing on the other side. Exhaling as you contract the knee in towards the forehead, inhaling as you open up. out all those unhelpful thought patterns, breaking things down for new beginnings. Lovely, come back to center and take downward facing dog, just stretching out. You can walk your dog here. Now bring your dog forward into a plank position. And exhale back to dog. Inhale forward into plank position. And exhale back to dog. Moving between dog and plank as quickly or as slowly as you like. Same with the breath, that ocean Ujjayi breath. Gorgeous, then push back when you're ready to child's pose. Rest here, breathe here. Closing off the back of the throat, the audible wave like breath runs. Exhale into inhale, inhale into exhale. Breathe in a wave like motion. 
and now we're going to move like a wave too so from child's pose slide forward into knees chest and chin take extra breaths if you need them from knees chest and chin come into cobra And then push back to child's pose with the arms extended out in front of you. Let's inhale in child's pose. As you exhale, slide forward, knees, chest, chin. As you inhale, cobra. As you exhale, child's pose. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Moving and breathing like a wave. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. One last time, inhale, child's pose. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Let's take the child's pose over to the left. Dropping through the right hip. Stretching into the tips of the right finger, fingers. And then over to the other side. Dropping into the opposite hip as you stretch the arms over and forward. Coming back to center and pressing back downward facing dog. Now walk your dog into, walk your hands back towards your feet, come into a folding position, bend the knees if you need to. And on your next inhale, slowly roll up through your spine. coming to stand. Let's interlace your hands on the top of your head and then turn your palms up and stretch your arms up as you come onto tiptoes here. As you exhale, come back to the hands at the top of the head, just standing here. And as you inhale, palms turn up, come onto your tippy toes. Exhale, palms to the top of your head. Inhale to your tiptoes. Beautiful. Now take your feet, keep your hands where they are. Take your feet wider than your hips. Keep your hands interlaced and skyward. And then side stretch over here. One way, back to center and then the other way. Just moving to the rhythm of your own breath, moving to the depths of where your body wants to go today. Like a little sailboat bobbing around on the sea. Neptune helps us to move with fluidity, ease and grace. Gorgeous. Release your hands back down when you're ready. Come back to center. Bring your fit, feet now hip width apart. As you inhale, bring your hands up so your palms face each other. And as you exhale, come into chair pose. Now inhale, stand back up. Interlace your hands behind you and open your chest. 
exhale fold forward your hands stay interlaced and come slightly over your head if possible just take a few breaths here ocean breathing ocean breathing ocean moving working with the water with the planet neptune let's inhale come back to the starting position feet the hip width apart hands up palms facing each other exhale back to chair pose sinking through the hips inhale interlace your hands stand up and open your chest exhale fold forward hands come over the head take a few breaths here Now inhale, come back on up to starting position. Keep fit there. Feet hip width apart, hands up, palms facing each other. On your next exhale, take chair pose. And as you inhale, stand up, interlace the hands, open the chest. As you exhale, fold. Taking a few breaths here. On your next inhale, come back to start position. And now just drop your head first. Drop your arms, let your arms hang heavy. Dropping yourself slowly into a fold here. From your folded position, walk your hands forward back to downward facing dog. Ocean breath. On your next inhale, bend your knees, look forward. And as you exhale, jump forward to sit. Come into Navasana, boat pose. Now come into half boat, go a little lower. And then from here, lie down. Take Shavasana. Come into a wave motion of your breath, breathing into your abdomen, your chest, and your collarbones. Breathing out abdomen, chest, and collarbones. Gorgeous. So from here, let's hug the knees in towards the chest. Rock a little side to side. Rocking over to one side. Pressing yourself on up. Coming into all fours, take cat cow. Inhale, open up, exhale, round the back. Breathe like a wave, move like a wave. Breaking down things, breaking down the unhelpful, distracting thought patterns and tuning into the breath. Push up and back, downward facing dog.
And from downward facing dog, let's bend the knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, step or jump, feet to the hands. As you inhale, open up the chest. Halfway rise. As you exhale, fold on in. As you inhale, come on up to stand. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale, circle the arms up if you've got room. Look up. Exhale, fold on in. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, come back to plank. Let's inhale in plank here. Now exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Wave like breath, ocean breathing. Inhale runs into the exhale, exhale runs into the inhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, front of the mat. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold on in. Inhale, rise on up. Exhale, release your arms. Samasthiti. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold on in. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, back to plank. Take an inhale in plank position. Exhale, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe like a wave, move like a wave. Yoga moves energy, asana moves energy. Energy shifts per perception. The shifts in per perception break down the unhelpful tendencies in us. They help us see things in a new way. They clear stress in the body and in the brain. Breathe like a wave, moves, move like a wave. As you inhale, look forward, bend your knees. And as you exhale, step or jump front of mat. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold on in. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, Samastitihi. Breathing here. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold on in. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, back to plank. Inhale in plank. And exhale, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's bring the right foot through and rise on up, warrior two. As you transition into this posture, move with fluidity and grace. Neptune helps us move in a fluid way. Breathe like a wave. And even as you stand still in this warrior two, notice how much movement, how much fluidity there is in there for you. 
Let the body be, be strong where it needs to be strong. Let it be soft where it can be soft. Even as you stand still, let the body move in a fluid way. Feel the waves of breath. Now turn your feet. Let's do warrior two on the other side. This awkward transition. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I appreciate the awkwardness of that transition. Just move through it as um, be beautifully and fluid, fluidly as you can. Mill the arms back to the mat. Come back through plank. Lowering down knees, chest, chin as you exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, backward, backward, downward facing dog. <laughs> Gorgeous. Let's bring the right foot through again. And this time we'll come into side angle pose. Utita Pajra Konasana. Try to anchor the outer edge of your back foot to the floor. And try to center your body weight as evenly as you can between your feet. Bring in breath, bring in prana, shift your energy. Move your energy, shift your perception, break down unhelpful tendencies in your ways of thinking, your ways of moving, your ways of being, and clear the stress in your body and brain. beautiful let's rise on up and let's come to standing and do that awkward transition where we do side angle on the other side hopefully this will bring us back to face the front of our mats maybe maybe not <laughs> we shall see whatever whatever we're confronted with let's be like water let's move with fluidity and grace and have the strength to not not be um, perturbed by my strange instructions. Anchor the outer edge of your back foot to the floor and center your body weight evenly between your feet. Stretching into infinity here. wave like breath and then when you're ready on your next inhale come back on up to stand turn your feet to the side edge of your mat for a wide leg forward fold as you inhale open your chest and as you exhale fold forward breathe like a wave Exhale, bring your hands to your hips, prepare to come up. And on a slow inhale, come up gently to stand. Stepping to the front of your mat, wherever you may be. Let's inhale, raise the arms. 
and exhale, fold on in. Inhale, upward, oh, um, halfway rise. <laughs> and exhale, back to plank. Take an inhale in plank here. Moving with ease and grace as you exhale, coming down to the floor, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, let's bend the knees, inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, jump to the front of your mat. If you can jump straight sort of with your knees into a kneeling position, you can do that. Otherwise, come into a kneeling position for camel pose. You might want to double fold your mat to support your knees, just to give yourself a little bit of padding. You might want to bring your hands all the way to your feet. You might just want to open your chest. Work with your breath. If you find the full position of camel, start to lengthen your tailbone towards the floor. Reaching your chest upward, staying with that ocean breathing. When you're ready, you can come out of this or you can come out of this at any point that you want to and just sit down, kneel down for a second to recover. And then in your own time, come on up for the second round or the third round or wherever you are with this. Just gonna kind of leave you to just explore your camel here. Explore your breath. Explore your attitude towards this back bend. Once you find your camel pose, see if you can breathe. It's always a good indicator of whether you've gone too far. If you find yourself struggling to breathe, you've gone too far. Above and beyond the actual pose, stay with the breath, be guided by the breath. Coming in, coming out, resting, wherever you need to. Lengthening your tailbone towards the floor, reaching your chest upward, staying with that ocean breath. Prepare when you're ready to come on out of that. And from here, let's just push back to child's pose for a second. And then back to downward facing dog. Walk the dog if that feels good. Bend both knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, jump to sit at the front of your mat. Bringing, extending your left leg, bringing your right foot into your right thigh, thigh for a Jani Shasasana A. Inhale, get long. Exhale, fall forward to the best of your capacity or just stay long. Work with the breath, opening up the backs of your lungs like two great sails. See if you can really kind of keep your heart pressing towards your toes. Feel an extension through your belly here as you breathe. A slight engagement of the belly that brings the breath into the back space of the heart. The 
inhale here exhale come out of that swapping the legs inhale get long and exhale fold on in breathe in waves waves of breath open up the backs of your lungs like two great sails feel the stillness within this pose but also feel the movement the fluidity of breath gently come out of that let's swap the legs again so we're coming back into Janu Shasasana A on the other side but this time we're going to um, take it into a side stretch Parivrita Janu Shasasana A so clasp the inner edge of your extended leg with the same side hand and start to from here twist your torso upward your top arm extends, it might extend up towards the ceiling, it might not, it extends to where it extends to. And if you've got the flexibility, it might even reach over, over towards the toes. I'm just gonna hold this and take long, slow breaths. Breathing in waves. like a little boat now but the sail is down <laughs> just floating on the breath and then as you inhale start to rise that sail rise your lungs back on up rise your body back up take a moment to reorientate and then swap the legs over so your um, opposite leg becomes the straight leg and the other leg becomes the bent leg we're going to clasp the inner edge of your extended leg with the same side hand. Twist your torso upwards and your top arm extends and you might reach over to the toes or you might not. Hold here, take slow breaths. If the top arm is extending, your, your um, sail would still be up. <laughs> so sorry if the last side confused you if your sail was up but if you're folded over the sail would be down if that makes sense I've got a mental picture of every one of us as little boats here bobbing on the water bobbing on the breath Beautiful. Next inhale brings you back on up. And in whatever way works, let's push back to downward facing dog. Let this transition be as fluid as possible, even though it will be a little bit awkward. Downward facing dog brings us forward into plank. And as you exhale, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's separate your feet a little wider than usual in downward facing dog. Walk the hands back and come into malasana or yogic squat. Breathe in waves. I'm seeing us all now as like little life boys out at sea. <laughs> Neptune amplifies our ability to be creative. <laughs> I'm definitely having that experience as I speak to this practice, as I see us all as boats with the sails up and the sails down, now little life boys out at sea in Malasana, bobbing up and down on the breath. gorgeous and then from here you can come forward into crow pose in whatever way works if crow pose isn't available for you you might want to try it on your back 
So you can just do propose upside down today because we're being creative with our practice. Neptune is amplifying our creativity. So we could express Crow in a completely creative way today. And that's all good. Beautiful. Come out of that balance or come out of that position in whatever way works and meet me in Downward Facing Dog. Breathing in waves. Okay, we're going to come into Lion now. Let's sit on our heels, taking the knees wide. The feet are together and the knees are wide and we're sitting onto the heels. Now place your palms on your floor, on your floor, on the floor, in between your knees or the knees. The fingers point towards your feet, so your fingers point in. Straighten your arms here, lengthen your spine. We're going to breathe in through the nose, open the mouth wide and put the tongue out and exhale, making a ha sound. Close the mouth, take a neutral breath here, lovely, okay, we're going to do that again a little slower this time, sorry that was a bit fast, let's go in through the nose, as you exhale open the mouth, tongue out, close the mouth, take an inhale here, through the nose, exhale. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. And exhale. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. <sighs> inhale here. Exhale, relax. <sighs> Lovely. Let's just come to a neutral seat. And sit with your legs stretched out in front of you. We're going to attempt Baddha Vajasana. Baddha Vajasana, I think it's called twist. So just lean to your right side. Okay, I'll try to keep my mind focused on where we are. We're leaning to the right side. We're going to bend the knees and bring the feet near to the hips. We're resting the left ankle now on the on the arch of the right foot. Lovely, and we're gonna twist now to the right. Place your right fingertips on the floor behind you and tuck your left fingertips underneath your right thigh, palm to the floor if you can. And you might be able to wrap your right arm behind you and clasp the left upper arm. <sighs> Gaze over your shoulder. And breathe. This reminds me of like a mermaid sitting on a rock. It's a very kind of Neptunian vibe, if that is a word. Beautiful. Let's inhale. And exhale, slowly release. Come back to seated with your legs stretched out in front of you. Okay, and now we're gonna lean to the left side. Bend your knees, bringing your feet near to your hip. This time, your right ankle is into the arch of your left foot. And we're going to twist to the left 
placing your left fingertips on the floor behind you, tucking your right fingers underneath and to the right of and, and to the left of your left thigh. Whew. Palm to the floor if possible. And you might wrap your, your left arm behind you now and clasp your right upper arm. Hopefully I've got that right and we're gonna gaze over the left shoulder. If I got that instruction right, I want, you know, I know you can't give me a round of applause, but I'd like to imagine one. <laughs> I'm imagining now us all sitting here like mermaids on a rock and behind us are lots of seals clapping their little paws together. Very Neptunian. Neptune amplifies our ability to creatively express. You might be feeling that here now as I tune into the impulse of Neptune. Let's take an inhale here, you guys. And exhale, release that beautiful, beautiful butt of a jasana twist. Oh, so lovely. Okay, now just come to a comfortable seat. Let's come into Shitali Pranayama. Shitali Pranayama. So we're going to inhale, make a straw with your tongue, or breathe through your teeth, sucking in the air. And exhale through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. We're drinking in the newness of what is to come after we've kind of broken down all those unhelpful tendencies. Neptune is actually one of my favorite planetary energies. It always feels like great change is coming. Like that Neptune with his trident is heralding in new beginnings. So drink in the newness of what is to come as you do this Shuddhali Pranayama. Let it refresh you. Let the thought of this refresh you. Waves of breath. Do one more. Beautiful. Releasing that pranayama now. Lie down. Make sure you're going to be warm enough for your shavasana. Make sure your body feels, you know, pretty symmetrical. Make sure that you've dropped the river stones of your sacrum and your shoulders into the ground. Release the hinge of your jaw. Release your eyes. Release all expression from your face. Do all the usual things that you do to make your shavasana beautiful and relaxing. Today we're going to be doing a, a beautiful meditation with a whale to round off this practice. So get yourself comfortable. And I hope that you enjoy it. Feel yourself lying on the beach, lying in the water. Actually floating is nice, float on the water like a little boat.
Release your breath now and just relax. 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 Feel yourself becoming very still. Close your eyes and imagine yourself floating in the sea, feeling safe and relaxed. The sun shines warmly on your face as you drift upon the clear, gentle waves. As you drift, you feel the water cleansing you. The salt releases any soreness or irritation that you might be feeling in your body or in your mind. Your skin begins to feel clear and well and any aches or pains in your head, body or bones are released. A deep sense of happiness and wellness washes over you as you drift along in a dream state through your imagination. Your body feels light as you are being cleansed and healed by the sea. Now, as you submerge your ears a little beneath the water, you can hear the distant sounds of a whale calling out to you. His deep voice sings through the ocean, creating a soft rippling effect. You can feel the soft vibration of his song through the rippling of the water around you. With each call of the whale, you feel more and more at peace. Your mind lets go of all your worries. The whale now begins to gently emerge from the water, his huge body resting beside you, taking very special care not to bump you. As you look into the eye of the whale, you connect to his spirit and you are able to hear the thoughts in his mind. He tells you that he is here to release all of your worries and any memories from your past that scare or frighten you. You 
your mind can clear your fears, which can now all wash away. You can dream peacefully as you let go of these thoughts from deep within you. The dolphins chatter and the whales sing, helping you to release these thoughts. If any fears, worries or bad memories come up as you go to sleep, your friend the whale will come through and place them in a bubble, allowing them to drift off into the ocean so that you may sleep in peace. There is no need to worry or to be fretful. ocean is there for you. And whale is there for you too. Sleep tonight with pleasant and beautiful thoughts. your imagination explore the beautiful places in your mind. I call on my friendly whale to release all my worries and fears. As I connect to him, I create beautiful thoughts with my imagination and sweet dreams at night when 